I bet you haven't used these three synths that come with complete standard and up. You don't even need the newest version. They must have existed like 10 years back. They are ancient. If I'm right and you haven't used them, subscribe. If I'm wrong, leave a dislike. But if you enjoyed the video, maybe change that into a like. If we open Reactor, which in my opinion takes too long. Like loading Contact or Reactor, why does it take so long? You should really improve this native instruments. We have this, still not resizable by the way, interface and we can select the factory library. And there are some interesting synths in there. We go to the synthesizers folder and let's just look at the first one, Tuosk. That's a synth. I never used this one. I owned Contact for quite some time. I never used this synth, I never even saw it. Have you ever seen this synth? I haven't. <laughs> Another synth in here, FM4, which is like an old version of FM8, I guess. But it sounds pretty good in some instances. Plenty of presets. Junotic. OK Computer 2. Photon. I gotta mention one of my favorites, which is... Uh, I keep forgetting how it's called. This really shows you how bad and out of date this interface is. I have a small synth, so now I can't really look at anything here. If I click edit, it works a bit better. Oh yeah, steam pipe. I like steam pipe. There's two versions, it seems. Steam pipe 2. Interesting, the newer one looks worse. But I think it sounds pretty nice. I think that's a pretty cool synth. But, as I said, this whole reactor interface is not that up to date. It's a tiny bit more user friendly if you use all these sounds inside of complete control. Sadly, this one also isn't really resizable, but at least I can go here, click on instruments and then select reactor. Now we only get presets from these synths that come in the reactor factory library. For example, I could look for some flutes and I might find some more steam pipe stuff. Something you have to know, you can only see one panel here and oftentimes the synths have two. So you have to right click, view B. And for example, with this preset, I might want to turn down the reverb a bit and I can only do that on the B panel. Let's make a beat with this. I'm going to use UJAM Virtual Drummer Hut. They sent me free plugins and I feel obligated to use them somehow. I think it's going to work well in like a synthwave context and with all these old synths, maybe that's something we could do. Uh, that's a bit too compressed for my taste. Is there a different snare? Ah. That's something I can use. All right, let's get a basic groove going. 105 BPM. It's a bit hot. That's what we're going with. Uh, let's get like a synth pad. So we're still in this reactor section. Synth pad, additive maybe. Maybe that's something, but I would like to turn down some form of filter. Gotta clean up that second half a bit, but the fastest way I think is if we do that in the DAW. Dum, dum, tuk, 
datum. Yeah, that's it. That's a pretty boring loop. I get it. Let's add some more synths. I need like a piano, piano, FM piano, like some DX stuff. That ain't it. That ain't it. I like that kind of music, don't judge me. I mean, yeah, you're free to judge me, whatever. <laughs> I want just like a subtractive, simple tum 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 analog, sure. Works okay. It works actually fine enough. And now to finish the video off, let's go back to my favorite one. Let's try. That's the end of the video. As I said, if you don't know these synths, subscribe. If you use these synths, give a dislike. But if you enjoyed the video, maybe give a like.